light can affect so much of what we do. It can affect everything from our mood to our sleep and even our productivity at work. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and in recent years we've heard a lot about how the light from these, the blue light from screens and gadgets, can really negatively impact our sleep patterns and our circadian rhythms. But you should know there are ways to combat it. To help understand why, you need to know a few things about light. Now you probably think it's clear, but light actually has color. When you think of daylight or noontime light, it's bright, white, and there's blue skies. And that's the time when most of us should be up and active. In the evening, as the sun sets, it changes to a warmer golden glow, and that's supposed to signal that we should be winding down and heading for sleep. That is the natural circadian rhythm. Now that worked out pretty good when we all worked outdoors and lived by sunlight cycles and had no electricity, but now we have 24 hour lives and we have to adapt. I've got a couple of different lights here from Lighting Science, and that's a company that's developed light bulbs. These ones actually for NASA. They use them on the International Space Station to help astronauts have a more regular feeling day because as you can imagine being out in space, sunrise, sunset is a little bit different. So it might be a little hard to see uh, via this camera angle and with the ambient lighting that I've got. So I'm going to give you a dimmed perspective as well. But you can see the light on your left is actually more of a bluish cast while the light on your right has more of that pinky orangey hue. Now what that's designed to do, this bluish cast is, uh, it's called the good day bulb and it's designed to give you that energized feeling, um, replicating light from the sun, that clear white light. And you're gonna to wanna to use a bulb like this in something like your home office, by your desk, somewhere where you need to be productive and energized. Now you're definitely not going to wanna to do that in something like a bedside table. That's where the pink light comes in. That's the good night bulb. And what this one does, it has that pinkish cast because it's designed to help you wind down to enhance those natural circadian rhythms, if you will, to get you thinking about sleep. So somewhere where you're gonna be an hour or two before bed, you'll wanna have access to this color, pinkish, warm, orangey light to help you really wind down your day. So you're no doubt wondering, do lights like these actually work? I wanna say that I've been using a sleep bulb in my bedside lamp for quite a while now, for a couple of years, mainly because I work odd hours. I'm usually up in the middle of the night and sometimes going to bed when it is still light out. I find that it's helped me. I like that warm glow at the end of the day when I'm trying to wind myself down. I find that it does help me get to sleep easier. The effect might be psychological, I suppose, but it's working for me, so I don't really wanna question it. It helps me get to sleep, so I'm gonna to continue to use it. Um, I've recently added the good day bulb to my arsenal of lights in my home office. Um, sometimes when I'm working in the afternoons, I maybe feel like having a nap or needing an espresso, but I find with this light that it's helping me power through, at least I feel like it is. Again, that may be a psychological effect, but I'm enjoying it. I hope you'll check out the blog at techgadgetscanada.com. It's got a full written review of these lighting products and it's got a lot more detail than I can provide in a short video review. So I hope you'll go and check that out. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and do consider subscribing. Your support means I can make more videos for you guys to watch and hopefully enjoy. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram until the next video at Erin L Y Y C. See you next time.